So we are here with Vetra, creator of the upcoming Roblox game Era of the Obelisk. So Vetra, can you give us a brief intro about your game? Well, yeah, uh, my game Era of the Obelisk. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have a bounty system, monster and human bounty. You could locate and kill monsters for different types of uh, payment methods. You can get EXP, money, or just just a way of progressing your class, perhaps. Do you have a Discord server for the game? Uh, yeah, we actually do. Uh, we just reached 120 members. We uh, we have some lore already done. We have a sneak peeks channel. We have four four different factions that you could join in this game. Mm -hmm. We do frequent the game nights, and we have a lot of poll polls. So with uh, the factions, are we going to see war between factions and these kind of things? Uh, yeah, we got. There's gonna be a lot of war between these factions. There's also gonna be a hierarchy and bloodline. Is the game going to be a casual experience or a more hardcore, brutal kind of thing? Uh, our difficulty is gonna get set to the max. We're looking to bring the instinct to kill or be killed. What do you think about our idea? Wonderful. So, a very little to no hand holding game, right? Yeah, perhaps. So, what makes this game different from all of these other little to no hand holding games? Well, there's a lot of differences, but I will be mentioning the life system basically. Mm -hmm. Each person gets five lives, mm -hmm. uh, each one representing one of your soul fragments. When you doubt, when you're knocked and taken a life, like when you die, one fraction of your soul is lost and you lose a life. So, mm -hmm. let's say you have five lives, you're strong against five different elements. And then yeah. you lose one life, you become weak to an element. So talking about creativity, show us one of your mobs so people know what to expect when they play the game. Well, technically we do have a lot of mobs for each biome, but I will show you my favorite one. Mm -hmm. First, there's a the meat worm, the parasitic mm -hmm. evolution, and then there's the flesh walker, and then they evolve to a corpse walker. Damn, they so... use the, basically um, a fl a flesh walkers. There are three variants of the flesh walkers. There's the stabilized version, the legs version, and the torso version. Mm -hmm. The stabilized version, it focuses more around having like uh, an equal amount of everything, okay? Yeah. It has a big bone behind its arm, so it uses to stab the players and mm -hmm. impel them. The legs version, it's really fast and uh, it's a mindless being and it's really fast. It will, it will kick you down and stun you. Just help the other mobs to take you down, basically. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the tentacle version, the torso version, basically. It's a, it's a dead flesh walker, but it has been infected by four uh, meat worms. Uh, the corpse walkers are a huge manifestation of flesh and bones that have been gathered over the years. Mm -hmm. So, if we need to defend from these flesh walkers. Can you give us some PvP explanation? Well, this game is gonna have a system on blocking, delayed parrying, a two second delay of course, punishing and a perfect block. Uh, you might wonder what punishing is. Punishing is when you perfect block someone and then use a skill that is linked to stunning and it will make it to hide that into a high damaging punishing move. Alright, and are we going to see any game passes, you know, in the game? Well, yeah, we, but, but we will only add uh, small game passes, such as wave free rolls and other in the roadblock category. But expect some cool stuff. We want ERA to be a unique game, but at the same time a hardcore game with a pay to win system. How big can we expect the map to be? You know? Is it going to be like a big sea, like Deep Open? Well, we're gonna have some small islands here and then, but mostly it's gonna be a gigantic map. Basically. It's divided into, like, there's two different big areas. There's the abyss and there's the overworld. Mm -hmm. And then there's a seven layer dungeon. Kinda unexpected, but it's the underworld, basically. Well, each layer of the underworld has a boss. Some of them will be a level 5 on their chart, but some of them will be a straight 10. Mm -hmm. So some difficulty, end game difficulty, right? Yeah. You know how it is, people are worried about lag in games, mostly because it ruins the PvP for many people. So, exactly what will you do about it in your game? Well, well, of course we're gonna enable potato mode in systems. It will make you, it will make the models seem less, um, it will show less models basically. Mm -hmm. So exactly wh when can we expect this game to be releasing? There is no official release date. We're looking to work at our own pace without anyone rushing us. Mm -hmm. So if you're interested to play the game, you know, join the Discord server. And if you're interested in participating, go DM Vetra, very wholesome dude. And yeah, stay updated.